Hello guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GK Mix. Today's video is about IIT Jam 2019 and this video will give you the complete information about IIT Jam 2019 and I am here in IIT Kharagpur and this year IIT Jam will be conducted by IIT Kharagpur. So I get this information from the IIT Kharagpur poster that is notice board and I am giving you information but this information is not on the any website so there are total 16 IITs all over the India in which I am in IIT Kharagpur and there are total 16 IITs this year one IIT has been added which is IIT Pharmacy there are also uh, 22 21 NITs in the Punjab and uh, other is SLIT uh, which is in the Punjab and the IIST ship which is good and there are also some IJs all over the India So IIC Bangalore in which you can join in an integrated phased course after qualifying the job. And IIT Jam 2019 will be conducted by IIT KG. So I am giving you this information from the IIT KG Notice Board and you will get the poster in the description. So the registration for IIT Jam 2019 will be started from 1st September 2018 and you must register it online and the last date for the registration is 1st October but don't worry every year IIT Jam board extended the last date the last date is 10 to 16 October. So the IIT Jam 2019 exam will be conducted on 10th February and the result will be published on 20th March. So this is all information about IIT Jam. And now let's talk about the details about the exam. So let's talk about the fees of this exam for female sc st and pwd candidates the fees are for only one paper 750 rupees and for two paper 1050 rupees i will discuss the first and second paper later and for general and obc candidates the only for one paper you need to pay 1500 rupees and for two paper you need to pay 2100 rupees so this is all about the fees for IIT jam exam and there are total uh, subjects uh, let's say biological science mathematics physics this is actually the session one examination session one examination means okay let's talk this later and the other set is biotechnology chemistry geology and mathematical statistics so this is session two examination paper session one examination this means 9 a.m. to 12 noon this is the examination time and for session 2 the examination time is 2 pm to 5 pm and here an important information for you is that you can uh, keep any two paper from the from the list from session 1 paper section from section 1 you can select one and from section 2 you can select another but you 
cannot keep two paper from section one and two paper from section two. So one paper from section one and other is from section two. So now let's talk about the eligibility. The main eligibility for the examination is for SCST and PWD candidates. You need to get overall 50% marks and for general and OBC candidates you need to get 55% marks and what about the marks distribution you need to secure 50% or 55% marks not only in honors or major in both SCST, PWD and general candidates but also the other subjects for, for example languages environmental science and etc whatever subject you have in your graduation so the all subjects you need to consider and get 50 or 55 percent marks so this is all about the eligibility and so what type of questions will come there are total three types of questions three types of questions one is mcq the other is msq and the third and final is NAT, NAT, that is numerical answer type question. Multiple choice question, multiple select question, and numerical answer type question. So, now let's talk about the MCQ question. Two types of MCQ question. Ten questions contain one mark each question, and twenty questions which contain two marks each. So, these MCQ type questions you need to be very careful for this question because for one more question each wrong question will deduct one third marks and for two marks question each question will deduct two third marks and next came to MSQ questions there will be 10 questions and each question contain two marks so there is no negative marks for these questions so next come to NAT that is numerical answer type questions there are two types of NAT questions one is 10 questions which contains is one marks each and other 10 questions two marks is here also there is no negative marks so NAT type questions the questions will be like the a mathematical problem or uh, number calculation problems uh, that is you need to say the total number of systems or total number of things or total number of any other things you need to calculate the number okay or other type questions such so for example uh, you need to fill the blanks by some number three four five whatever will be the answer so you need to be very careful for NAT and MSQ which have no negative mark but for MSQ questions you need to be very careful because one wrong answer or missed answer will not give you any marks for MCQ questions they will have negative marks so you need to be very careful for these questions so more and more practice will give you the better choice and you can crack the exam so you can get more information about IIT jam 2019 in the following website that is jam dot iit kgp dot ac dot in i am getting this information from the iit kgp poster and you also get you can also get the poster from the description below which is given by the IIT KGP so check the description for more information about the IIT jam 2019 examination okay so good luck for IIT jam 2019 subscribe this channel to get more available videos on IIT jam and any other examination okay so a very very good luck from me to you and I hope you must crack IIT jam 
टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एग्जामिनेशन